work so well together. Oh, he must have drawn another. Oh, no. Oh, no. He had Nibiru. I did not expect this. Ooh, what is going on, everybody? We are back at your boy Simmer. It has been a long time, but we are back playing some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Masters Duel. Still been playing this game. It is so much fun. And we're going to be playing today one of my all-time favorite archetypes, and that is the Hero Monsters. Let's jump into some ranked, and hopefully we can make Platinum rank with this Hero deck. We are currently sitting at gold one, and we need two wins to get to Platinum. We don't win the coin toss, though, so this is not good. Please go first. Ooh, oh, okay, this is rough. Heroes pretty much always want to go second because then you can maybe get the OTK. Uh, but they don't have many defensive options. So setting up the board first, this is a terrible hand. Especially for going first. This is horrendous. Um, I guess I have to do this at the end of my turn. This is a terrible hand. My, This is horrendous. Not any of my searcher cards. No uh, E, the element to hero searcher. Uh, no Stratos. No Vision. Uh, oh, no. Ammo version card. Okay. Probably good that I didn't have anything else. Because otherwise, I would have set up a huge board, had all my big monsters, and then done nothing with it. I would have loved to go second with this. It would have been okay. Okay. Planet Pathfinder with Kaijus. What are you playing? Oh, I lose. GG. Numeron. GG. I win. I, I lose, sorry. He wins. Just off that. Numeron's a stupid. What is this? So he destroyed my monster, which didn't matter for that point. And then he can just summon this and go, yep, GG. Summon four monsters for free. Oh, what a terrible turn to go first. Not a great start looking at the hero deck. Um... It's, that's why it's not a top tier deck, because it's not the... Oh, well, G, that's definitely GG. Okay. Um, yep. And then 4,000, 8,000, 16,000. Like, I lose anyway. Like, it's not even close. Look at this. And then I go up again. 8,000 twice. Okay. That was a, a very quick one. <laughs> Hopefully, the next duel, we have a bit better of a starting hand. Um, and can actually prove what heroes can do. So, let's get into game two. We're versing God Mode. Hey, we get to choose. We're going second. After last round, we have to choose second. That was brutal first game. Ash Blossom character always scares me, though. Very scary. Because if I have Ash Blossom, and I need a searcher, and I can't do it, that's pretty good for going second. Could I would have loved one more hero monster in my hand. At least one. If I had, like, a... Um, the Shadow Mist? Oh my god, that would be a beautiful hand. Or, uh, uh, oh no. Um, I'm gonna just do this. Now, I don't care if he's gonna, if he doesn't summon anything else, good. If he does, then I get to draw at least. Because I'm a bit nervous what they can do. Not as scary as Drytron's. If it's Drytron as well, I'm screwed. But Drytron Heretics, um, is the one that messes me up. The, oh, uh, what is it? The Fairy of Ultimate Greatness. Ultimateness. That's nuts card. Tribal Grade Nerval. Look at this dude. Looks like he's from the Plague. Very cool archive though, Tribal Grades. I love the Winged Beasts. So I love a Black black Wing deck. That's always fun. We need one more monster card. We have got Hero Lives, which pretty much will be worth it if we can win that turn. Otherwise, it puts you in a very risky spot having half your life points. Ooh, a Linking straight away. Into what? Salomon Great. Al... Al Mirage. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful draw. Um... Okay. Interesting. So, he's special summoning. Oh, add one Tribal Great monster from your deck to your hand. And that's it. Okay, easy. I always see what this thing does. You can tribute this card, then target one monster you control. It cannot be destroyed. But card affects this turn. Oh, simple. Oh, that's easy. I'm not worried about that. Not even worried about it. It's a very cute Yu-Gi-Oh monster. Ooh. Oh, I couldn't see it. It looked cool, though. I'm keen for this hand. Okay. There we go. Send this card from your hand to your graveyard. Send one level three or lower beast warrior. Wing beast from your deck to your graveyard. Then banish. Special summon one. From your extra deck. Link monster, as always. So pretty much sending to the graveyard. Special summoning, maybe. Banishing beast warriors to special summon. And then link with. I'm intrigued to see what they're going to do though for the rest of the turn. 
Especially because I used Max C. Interesting. Another one. That's four in the graveyard already. Sets one face down. What is this? Is this 2004? Two face down. Oh my god. This is scary. Okay. Please give me Lightning Storm. If I draw a Lightning Storm or Harpy's Feather Duster right now. Oh, imagine. Imagine if it was Feather Duster. They can activate it now. That's interesting. I'm going to do this. See if I have an Ash Blossom. Or can negate it some way. I'd rather them negate this one than me pay half my life, life points and then not get the effect anyway. Aha! See? Beautiful. We called it. So that one's also... Oh. Never mind. I forgot we can just do this. Oh, beautiful. Double searcher, baby. Later, Ash Blossom. Treat myself to a searcher. Emergency call. And you know all who we're searching straight away, of course. Everyone knows the fan favorite. One of the coolest elemental hero basic... You know what? I'm going to send it. I'm going to send it. I'm a bit worried about what these two are. But I'm going to send it. He can draw as many cards as he wants. I'm going full send this turn. We're going to do the max C challenge. Let's do it. Okay, obviously straight out to the hand. That's very, very, of course. Now, we do this. Pay off your life point. This is, the, this is risky as, and it's going to be my downfall if we don't win this turn. But I'm going for it all. We're sending it all. Half my life points are gone. Special summon an element to hero monster level four or lower from my deck. Damn, that kind of sucks. I was hoping it was like when this card's normal or special summon, you can special summon, which kind of sucks. We can do this though. If the card's special summon, you can add one change quick play. That could come in handy for this turn actually winning. That could be really good. I want to do that. I would never normally summon this. Normally, I would always go Stratos, but I just added one with the emergency call. But this could come in clutch. Are you sure about that? To make sure that I actually win this turn. Giving me that marsh change. Okay. Terrible. But I'm glad you used it now. Negative effects. That's all right. That's okay. Because that's gone now. I don't get marsh change. But now he's got one less face down, which is really good because now I can do this. I don't need another monster in my hand. I would love one, but I don't need it. I would much rather get rid of whatever this is. They can activate it again. So me getting rid of this now. There you go. Should use my other effect then. <laughs> I don't know if he knows which one I use, but this is okay. Special summon a number of beast or warrior beasts that in your know, banished or graveyard and get their effects and then link using those monsters. Okay. What can you do? What can you summon that's this amazing on my turn? He can summon five monsters, can't he? Four. That goes straight into the, the main one. I forget the name all the time. Tri Brigade, whatever. The big bird with the gun. Looks really cool. Okay, I'm a bit nervous now. And I can't destroy it with card effects because I can just tribute Selman great. Okay. I'm in a bit of a pickle now. This is going to be a rough comeback. And it's only turn two. Oh, this is going to be scary. Oh, heroes are so risky. Oh, headset almost fell off. Yes, okay. That's who we knew. Shurag. You can banish one card on the field. Oh, that kind of sucks. We destroyed it now. Should have just added it to my hand. Banish one card on the field. If this card is sent to the grave... Okay, that's all that we need to know. So can... Can you summon something else? We know you can... If this card is special summoned, or if another beast, beast warrior, or wing beast monster is special summoned, you can banish one card. There we go. Each effect once per turn. That's good. That's good. Who are we banishing? It doesn't really matter to me. Please. Straight away, surely. Okay. This is fine. What are these all doing? Add one to your hand. Okay, I'm not too worried because we are going to try and win this turn. It's going to be rough. I would have liked more cards in my hand. Another one. Like getting that search off with um, Stratos would have been perfect. But I'll see what we can do. Oh, this might be huge actually. What can you activate? Surely not. Surely you didn't draw another Ash Blossom before. Please. Honestly, I'd rather it now though. 
Dark Fusion. I kind of need Dark Fusion though. Okay. I can kind of make these work. As long as they don't Ash Blossom me, I'm okay. I think it's the quick effect for Salmon Gray. I think that's what's trying to activate. And I'm hoping that that's it. Because if I have another Ash Blossom, I am screwed. Come on, please. What we got? What we got? What we got? Please. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nothing bad. Today, sir. Would appreciate it, God Mode. Hurry up. I'm trying to style on you. I now need three wins to get diamond, and it's not going to happen. Ah, uh, platinum, sorry. Diamond. Platinum. Okay. Vision Hero. Beautiful. As per always, we want increase in our spell and trap zone. Because then we can tribute vision to then summon another vision hero monster. Or Faris, sorry. I always say vision. Increase. Then we can tribute Faris. With increase, but you can tribute Faris for increase and then special summon another vision hero monster, which obviously is going to be Vion, who can then search for us. And then we get a polymerization, which is obviously what we need. Okay, I'm not worried about that. Once It cannot be destroyed by current card effects. That does kind of suck, but I think I can still pull through. I think I can still make this work. Can we bring this all the way back? I'm taking the max C challenge as well, remember? So if I don't win this turn, I pretty much lose the duel. Okay, Vision Hero, yes, and we search. Send one to the graveyard. And we want to send... Hmm. Mist. Shadow Mist. You stupid. What? Excuse me? Why couldn't I add a monster? Oh, it's... Effects are negated in the graveyard as well? Damn, that sucks. Okay. That is a pain, but we can still work with this. It's not looking good, but we can still work with this. Okay, add Polly. If you miss this step, you pretty much lose. You need that step as a must. Okay, now we summon extra hero Cross Crusader. Doesn't matter who you tribute, just tribute these two. Because now we do this. Summon him, and he can special summon a Destiny hero. So that's why when you summon Faris, you discard the Malicious. So then you can summon them now. Because it's like the only one in the deck, unless you got Decider in your grave. But then we can do this, because we can tribute the, del the malicious, delicious. So then give myself my honest Neos, which is beautiful. And then now we can do this. So we use these two to summon this guy. And this guy, what you don't know. He's got a cool scythe, by the way. He looks amazing. Look at this card. Where is he? Look at that scythe. It looks amazing. Look at this. That looks so cool. Okay. So his effect is why I have Flame Wingman in my uh, extra deck. Because... I can search for both of them. So now I get two materials for my poly. Just wait. It's all big brain time. We get both. And now, I'd love to link summon again, but I don't have any monsters in the field. Wait. We have Delicious Malicious in the graveyard, which can banish to special summon another one from the deck. Beautiful. So we do this, and then we can link again, which is what we want. We want our boy Wonder Driver. Going to special summon him, as not normal. And what he can do is recycle my fusions. So we're going to use Polly, and then use the two free po uh, po Pokemon. I'm not playing Pokemon. I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh. What is this? Use Avion and Burstinatrix to then summon Sunrise. You have to be in the spot the Wonder Driver is, though. If you mess, I've messed that up before, and it cost me the game. So make sure you special summon in the Link spot. And now we get Polymerization back, which won't matter now because we don't have enough monsters. But we can also add Miracle Fusion with Sunrise. So it just, it just stacks on top of each other and just... Works so well together. Oh, he must have drawn another. Oh, no. Oh, no. He had Nibiru. Oh, no. I did not expect this. This is rough. This is rough. We can make it work. Surely we still get to add Miracle Fusion. If we don't, we lose. If we get to add Miracle Fusion, we're still good. This really messed me up. Okay, Nibiru. That's fine. Why would you on defense? Can I attack with this? Okay, I can't attack because you put it in defense. Okay, we still get Miracle Fusion. Okay, so now we activate Dark Calling, which is fine. Can we win? Oh, no. Why can't I do it? What? What? Why did that not work? What? What? I don't know why that didn't work. 
Now I don't want to activate Miracle Fusion because I don't think it will work now. I don't know why that... If someone knows why, please let me know in the comments why that didn't work. I'm so confused at why that didn't work. Can you not special summon after Nibiru is activated? It doesn't say that though. I think I lose now. But we should have been able to win. I don't know why that didn't... I'm so confused. Please, if you know what happened, please tell me so I understand why that didn't work. It just says negate. It doesn't say why. Why was it negated? I'm so confused as why it didn't work. See, nothing happened. It was just maxis. Nothing happened to here. It was all normal. Wonder Driver, yeah, activated. Sunrise. Got our move and then he Nibiru'd. But why did that stop my Dark Calling? I'm so confused. Oh, I'm mad. Because I could have won. If I had Dark Calling, I would have summoned my big boss boy. My Prismatic Malicious Bane. Looks amazing. Would have got that. Destroyed his Nibiru. So I would have had more than 3,000 attack because Sunrise was on the field. Actually, no, he wasn't. But I would have Fusion Summoned. To add, um... Probably Tornado. Make his attack lower. Then Malicious Bane can activate his effect and destroy all the monsters. And then attack directly for... That's what, 5,800? And then Honest Nearest makes it 72. No. 82. So we would have won. Oh, I'm gutted. We had the win. And we lose. GG. That sucks. We had the game won. I'm so frustrated at that. I don't know why it didn't work. Please let me know. If you understand why that didn't, why it was negated, I need to know. Because I'm so confused as why. If I knew why I lost, I wouldn't be so mad that I lost. But I don't know why it didn't work. It just activated and then got negated. And I don't know why. I lose now though, because I only have 4,000 life points. The Max C challenge actually is what killed me. Because Nibiru, he drew into Nibiru. That hurts. Why'd you destroy the poly? You knew it was a poly. <laughs> Oh, I had that game. I'm so mad. I don't know why I lost. So please, if you, I've said it three times now. If you do know what happened as why Dark Calling didn't activate correctly, please let me know. That's GG though. Damn, that sucks. We had that win. We actually had the win because we would have got Malicious Bane out and Great Tornado. Oh, gutted. GG's to God mode. He pulled it through. Nibiru clutched it in the end. I did not expect that to come through. I don't really see many Nibirus. And especially in the Max E challenge, that was my own downfall, I guess. But GG's the opponent. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. We didn't really get to showcase the heroes that well. Unfortunately, that's on me taking the Max C challenge and then some negate that I still don't understand why it didn't work. So if you do know, please in the comments down below, let me know why Dark Fusion didn't activate properly because it literally cost me the win of the duel. But Nibiru was a great play. GG to the opponent. So hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. We greatly appreciate it. Make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss any more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel content. We're going to do some more Pokemon content as well very shortly. And as always, take it easy.